Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Race Forest 4 semi-final about to start. And we are going to put right now Vala's team and Ganji team. And we are already in the house. In the first game of the series, I will put now the Race Forest logo uh, here, I believe. With the 4 before, it's... Or maybe here. Yeah, here better probably. Yeah, to cover the least possible. And, uh, whoa, Valas Hindustan is flank. Interesting, Valas has been picking always choices that are different, special. The map generation, ooh, kind of weird, actually. Oh my god, look what Ganji is doing already. Ganji is going to wall here. I believe so. And look at Richard. Going to see him coming with two villiers. Oh, baby. He has no loom. That's the first villier down by Richard. Yeah, he's going to lose it. No loom. Vamos villier Liga. down. We love wow. Mem and we love Age of Empires too. I wish you more success and the best every month and after. Total brutal domination member. Thank you so much, man. That subscription is also insane. Tier 3 subscriber. Awesome. Well, I was talking about that Valas is definitely going to be ahead, but... Ganji is a very dangerous player. He's sending out more villages, and now Yellow is coming with the scout. The map generation, as you can see, is definitely not like BF. Well, in this area, it's not. In the rest of the map, it is. Then on this area, you can see how Valas. Let's go to the Echo KD. Valas has killed something? No. IDLTC? No. Uh, Orange Red Part, Vietnam. We couldn't even see yet the civilizations. So, let's see. If we can focus, but there's two villages only, the lower HP, and Ganji's Lithuanians. He's sending two villages more, and he will be fine with four villages now. Obviously, Blue has lost a village. He has eight population, ten population, so he has already 18 seconds idle TC. Ganji is zero, and Blue is in a problem. In a real problem. Oh. Okay, and now, time to block. But... He couldn't block. And what is supposed to be a lame? Oh, baby, baby, baby. Baby, baby, baby. Oh, my. Oh, my Lord. Holy moly. Well, that was pretty sick. Lame. And it's a lame that can be successful. Why it can be successful? Zero extra boards. Green is also walling himself, Mr. Planner. So that's a problem. Blue is in problems. Yellow is the pocket Bulgarians. What he should do? Boom or coming aggressive. He has a, a dog now already in the lake. Orange, it's wall not in the best position. Gray Valas has wall forward. He has now a lumber camp on this area. And we will go to the right side in a moment. Other pocket is Waisepi with Franks. Who is this subscriber? This subscriber, Jacermo, 11 moons. Vamos. Vamos, he won't be able to go up. Of course he won't be able to go up. Blue is going to be Fook. Really, really Fook. It's true that Red is not having the greatest economy. He's not taking the lake. There's also three boars. But he's not getting idle TC, I believe. Only seven seconds. Okay. Well, Blue is doing a good job, actually. According to the situation, yeah, he is. But now he's coming with more villages. And that's a real problem. This is scout is low HP. And now... Oh my god! Who is this? 50 euros! I will put the, the daily goal Charles has to be increased. Donated 50 euros. Vamos! Let's go, Volus. Membu you lucky wife not home so she won't see it. <laughs> okay. Lucky wife is not at home. Like if your wife is watching the like if your wife is watching the channel. Your wife is not watching the channel. Stop being a victim. I mean you donate because you want, and if she was there, you will donate as well. Come on, you know that. She's never going to the to the PC. I'm sure, a hundred percent. Okay, let's see now the walls here. Thank you so much. Now I will have to change the the daily goal. Can I reset the daily goal, guys? Okay, I will reset later. Not yet. Okay, sticking now the board and four villages on, on wood. And what is this? You have to be careful. 
It's gonna take it. The King of Rage Forest casting on a beautiful Saturday. We are too lucky. Vamos. Valas is not gonna lose anything. Oh, he lost a Valir. He lost a Valir. He took the scout but lost a Valir. Valas? 1-1 one, one, and report. He's gonna wall here. Oh, I think he has to let him wall there. Seven Valirs walling here. Total crap. Why this is total crap? I mean, it's okay. But if you wall that white, it's so difficult to defend. Then, in the other side, they count down. They stabilize. Now he's doing the dog in this area. He will put one fishing ship here and then the other around. I don't like this dog. It's not a good position for this dog. I'm gonna tell you why. You have a lot less space in this dog to put fishing ships around. While the dock here will be much better. I don't know what you think. Here you don't have a space because he's, well, taking a lot of land. Well, here we'll have all this area to make the fishing ships. Right? All right. Balas. Okay, orange. Three boars. Then you put this palisade and don't leave a lumber camp here. That's terrible. Why? Because as I said, Balas can break this so easily. Really, really easy, and he's up already. Well, orange is on the way to nothing. Blue doing farmers. What is he gonna do now? Is he gonna wall now the map like this? Uh, all right, sounds like a good walls. Oh my god, sorry for what I'm going to say. Pussy style today, they are. Well, it's what I think, man. Yeah, it's chicken. It's completely chicken. Why I'm telling this? <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Forget what I said, guys. Good style. Amazing style. I regret what I said. No, no, no. I, I regret what I say. He's there already with the snake and then he's walling here. That's terrible, man. Well, he's gonna take the lake, but he's not even doing a dog. Maybe he's trying to go to the pocket, I don't know. But I want to see some aggression. And Valas, it's always going aggressive. I love it. It's always going aggressive. Let's analyze a little bit the civilizations. We didn't have even time with the with the action because in BF we got more action than in many other maps. Yeah? Teal, Thestosi, Sicilians, Green, Machiar. Well, the others are Franks. Well, I prefer... Guys, would you prefer Franks or Machiars? Tell me. Franks or Machiars? And what Gray is going to do is attack here. Yes, Saretsa for the early game. For super fast attack pranks, the later the game goes, the better is going to be. Oh god, he's walling here. For Machiars, Machiars got Paladins. They get incredible Cavarches. And if you think about Franks, Franks just get Paladins. That's it. Anyway, why Red is not deleting, deleting the damn scout? Yeah. And now, go and kill that Belier. Good. They are paying attention. And now Red won't be able to wall. He shouldn't be able to wall. Nah. Blue is coming. Blue is coming. Blue is coming. I know that he's gonna be quick, fast, annoying, but he's a wall. Who did a subscription here? A Lucard. A Lucard. Nice. Thank you so much, amigo. Appreciate it. Well, he has now the dock, and Blue has 30 population. Red. 37. The the advantage. The advantage with the Lithuanian start is just crazy. One mini title TC, Ganji 59 seconds, but he's about to make the buildings and go up. Ooh. He take both the scouts and now it's gonna wall. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. You can notice how Ganji is just faster than his opponent. Yeah. It's so annoying. I hate that. Anyway, in the other side. Orange, Repart, is using only 17 villages 
to wall here. 17 villages to wall here. Teal, siege wall shop. And now, with these archers, oh my god, Repart, Repart, villager down. Guys, Repart has lost nine villages, okay? Nine villages, ten villages already. Repart is in the damn hell. You know, in the damn hell. Vala has killed nine villages to Repart. With all the villager fight, now with the villagers coming inside. Yeah, well, he, he's completely dead, Orange. And as I told you, Valas is just pretty sick. But there's a problem. FedEx is coming with Siege. Blue is doing the Stone Wolves, but Green is here with the Knights. When the Knight has come, the villages are gone. I like it a lot. Pockets are not booming, are going army. And this is great. But Red is going to come now, Monks. How many villages on goal? Well, it's pretty clear. Nine villages on gold is going to come monks. Blue has Byzantines. What? Byzantinos. Okay. Well, Byzantines is one of the best civilizations to defend. One of the best civilizations to defend. But please, wall this tree. Because if you break it, then you can chop that tree and go in. You have to wall that tree. Otherwise, it's a big no. It's a huge mistake. Remember my words, okay? Anyway. Here now, Teal has to micro. Let's see Sastosi. Good micro. Micro down. And now, let's see. He has to be careful. He's going to repair this one. Okay. Ooh. Oh, he's going to repair. He's coming with a, with, a, with a ramp. But imagine if he was doing some nice. He's only going with Siege. But then Barakan is stable. Obviously... Yeah, well, but he has now the monks. That's so important, the Mangonel. Oh, he took that one. And he's still not killing. Where's the archer from Valas? Valas is going to the middle. What is Repar doing? Yeah, well. Repar is, is just dead. Now, the monastery. He has double barrack and a lot of pikes. He wallet here. Very nice. Siege was shop and monastery. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Blue playing a very no, an incredible and amazing strategy. Why? Because we forgot what Byzantines are capable. And Byzantines is gonna go up to Imperial right now. Yes. After doing these buildings, thanks to the Byzantine bonus, you can see the resources, you can see the the bars at the top left corner. And he's gonna go up to Imperial. Right away. You know? Gonna go up to Imperial. One, two, three. Three tone centers, all right? For red, but blue is going in. He's doing redemption. He's not going in. Okay. I was so high for the Imperial and now he's doing redemption. <laughs> okay. Now he's Fook. He's doing Saturday, he's gonna make monks now. He's trying to wall, but you have to wall another because when you break, it's open. He's in diagonal, so if he breaks, it's open. I can't believe he's not just doing a second one. Okay, well, uh, in the other side, Vala's team is clearly ahead. In this side, Ganji team is even more clearly ahead right now. Because blue has only one tone center, triple monastery, red on three TCs with the crazy fish. Oh man. Yeah. Well, and yellow has also the crazy fish as well. Uh, doing so much siege. I, I have said many. Ooh. But green with uh, with fish as, as well. 82 villagers. More villagers. But what army is going to make here, Machiars? He has to do some army. And now, thanks to these monks, he's stopping, stopping them. This is very good. Because if they don't make damage here, with the advantage they have in the other side, they are going to dominate. Big time, in my opinion. You know? He's now trying to move those. And what is Valas doing? Valas is in the middle of the map. And he's gonna, he's gonna kill the pocket with double the stable. Oh my god. Well, this is what Valas is going to do right now. He's also still holding this position. Oranges will be feudal forever. And Valas is gonna make his usual style that he's doing on uh, 
on the ladder games, but now in the semi-final. Crazy. Yeah, look at the double stable inside. He's now deleting uh, this wall. He's gonna go for the monastery. He's gonna try to make damage on yellow. We will see, guys. We will see. What blue need to do here is to hold the position. What he should do, blue, honestly. Well, I think the big mistake he's doing is that he should just mine a lot of stone, drop a castle, and that's it. The thing is, blue has three monks only with triple monastery. But guys, green, Mr. Planner is on the way to Imperial. And this is why Machiars is better civilization than Franks. With Franks, you will go Paladins. Maybe you can go Bombard Cannons. But if he's now going full cab archers, he's going to be fine. And Mr. Planet will make a castle. I mean, if he's doing a castle just here, for example, trying to defend his base or delete the house, make the castle, one castle here, and full cab archers, they are completely fine. Good thing here. Well, Gray, what is Gray doing? Is disturbing purple. How much is going to disturb purple? Well, YCP 79 values. Teal, now booming, relax it. Right? Gray is walling here. He has a mangonel, but Teal? Just gonna defend with a mangonel here. Oh, one for one? No. Actually, no. He's gonna kill the village. You have to focus in the mangonel. And he got it. That's perfect. Yeah, Vala's team has a very good position right now. Like, really good. Obviously, red is super ahead. Look at his population. But the timing, the momentum is not for green. And gray is still in the middle. What is? He, what else is he going to do? Now he's walling. It's true that yellow is on the way to Imperial 2. And he might go for... For Onegas, but this is fortified walls. He's doing the castle here, and as I told you, he's going Cav Archers. Because those Cav Archers, Machiar's Cav Archers are sick. Like, really, really sick. Orange is doing now double the attacks. Awesome. Amazing play. Yeah. Very, very nice. Anyway, he is still here with the camels. And. Oh! A castle on his face, man. A castle on his face, my goodness. If he's doing this castle, Purple will be in Castle Age forever. While. Deal. Now in Imperial, he's gonna make a total domination. He's gonna destroy Orange. Destroy Orange. He's only three villages. Purple. Franks is doing the castle here. But now the Doubt Castle is about to happen or not. You need to kill that knight. He has camels. And ladies and gentlemen, if he's not letting him make this castle, he's gonna be sick. The camels are coming. He's going to repair the man. Oh, why he deleted? I think he could do it. Okay. Now he's gonna make it here in the middle, on yellow. Where he's gonna make it? Valas, no more stone. All right. So he didn't make it. Didn't make the castle. He's gonna move around. Remember that Valas is not gonna make a big difference here because he has only 52 villages, but he's been disturbing quite a lot the pocket. Purple is far away from Imperial. Good thing, yellow and red with 125 villages and 130, they can slink and they can slink purple as well. So if red and yellow come together here and dominate this area, which it can happen, we'll see. Good thing. Blue has a bad boon. No. Not delete the walls. Well, they don't see what we do. They don't see the madness here. But he has a lot of monks and a bad boom can happen here. Oh my god. Oh my god, he has a lot of army FedEx. You need to convert the mangonels. He's coming here. You gotta be careful. You need to make a gate. Obviously, if you make a second castle, it's gonna be great. Green need to make a castle here. And I'm telling you something. If he's doing a castle here, it's huge because he's take all the buildings. Yes. And going up to Imperial now is great for blue because those monks will have all the range, you know? And that helps a lot. Byzantines is just fun. It's just incredible. Really, really sick. Anyway, very nice first game of the series. Super aggressive. He's gonna make a castle here now, but I insist. Deal. Now, first crusade. Onager upgrade to coot fast and dominate. They, he should destroy. We'll see if he's going to destroy or not. Obviously, the approach he's using is not the fastest. He's definitely not the fastest. Market here. What is this market? All right. Oh, well, used to trade. You need market in this area and, and see what they do. Um... He does have a lot of army, Cav Archers. You need Trebuchet, because then you gotta, you gotta fight against two players. He's doing heresy. The monk's not gonna help anymore, but now Blue has quite a lot of barracks. Blue has converted everything, and now the Siege Workshop. All the buildings, all the buildings by Yellow in the hell. So now he has no production. That's amazing. Win, get a lot of time. Blue is still behind, but 
Blue and green has now the combination, the real combination, but you will need Onagers. Onagers, not only Cap Arches, if he's coming Siege, it's gonna be deadly. He got Heresy even. Now Red is doing Elite Latest. We have seen how strong can be Elite Latest. I don't understand these open walls. You make, you need to make gates, but well, let's see. If Blue is getting some sling, guys, check deal resources. Deal resources, my goodness. Oh my god, okay. Deal resources are crazy, so go, go, go and kill. Purple doing more castles. Now, Orange is still getting killed. Well, Orange is out of the game. Valas on the way to Imperial, and now, with this amount of Cavarches and Monks, eh, the Monks need to go back. You're gonna lose them all. You need to go back. You're gonna lose all the Monks. What the hell? Yeah, but guys, you see how sometimes booming as much as Ganji did is useless? For now, he has 158 villages, and look at the amount of army. While the opponents, they keep pushing. They keep going. I'm missing traps. Obviously missing traps. Where's the trebuchets? I don't know. No traps. Why now doing cavalry? I don't know either. I think full cavarches is great. Yeah, but guys, Teal has cut already. It's gonna cut very fast. Orange is completely dead. And I know that they are not calling it. And they are not gonna call because we have seen some crazy come back in this tournament. But I don't see how they can come back now. Well, see, Chornes could be a good way. All right? But more traps. And in my opinion, they are not being fast and old. Mr. Planner's core is just now scary. Really scary. Yellow is playing good. Don't take me wrong. He has 180 population. But with the strategy they are doing, Green and Blue has cleaned all his production. And then he's unable to do a right army anymore. This is Siege Honor upgrade. But with the monks, even if you don't convert them, you take the Honors. They get destroyed, so it's good. You know, it's really good. Look at the caster here, Onagers. Those are at least Surgeon, but now it's time to go Halberdiers as well. Full Halbs or Cavaliers. He's defending with Axemans, but they have one player less. Basically, they have one player less. All right. Gray was taking here uh, a Monk, not anymore. And Bala has now four Tone Centers. Ballistic, they will give some a sling. And they are going slowly, but safe. This is many latest. We still have the monks only. And well, few halves. Yeah, 27 farmers, 21 on goal. If he's doing now full halves, they're fine. Ooh, the Onagers, but they are going to kill it with the monks. You see? It's killed. It's good, man. They are killing all the buildings. Need to be fast, but who is being fast is Sastosi that is going to destroy Waisepi. It's going to destroy Waisepi. Be obviously slow. Waisepi, we are in 38 minutes. And now he's having elite Axeman. But without bomber cannons, without traps, not too much he can do. We see now Imperial skirmishes from Red, which is very good army against the Cav Archers. So is where now the cavalry from Green can help a lot if he's doing Khazars. He's trying to convert all the combination. They have a lot of farming. You can see how Ganji is going to keep trying forever. But... In the other side, Purple will die. Purple is going to die. He's researching the Siege Honor in this Siege Workshop. Mistake. Okay, he's gonna convert it. And he's still holding. Holding this position. Holding quite a lot. Ooh, okay. He's gonna take those and one, two, three Siege Honors. Three Siege Honors. Ooh, okay. Well, it's okay. I mean, with the monks. You can just... He only need to focus blue in convert the Siege Honors. Focusing that, they're fine. I mean, Imperial Skimmers are solid, but then you make Hussars and you're okay as well. Yeah. Yeah, they, they just hold here while in the other area. Okay, Purple is doing a good job. The problem is that Orange is still dead. And Balas is not even full yet there. But when he's going to be there with the Hand Cannoneers, Industani Hand Cannoneers, then Franks won't be able to do anything. He has Bomber Cannons, he has the Axemans, but... When Vala joined the party and he's coming, he's gonna die. Yeah, I mean, it, this army is good against Sicilians. Oh, as I told you, the Siege Honor, it's been, well, lost because he lost the Siege Workshop. They are still holding in this position. Why? Well, because uh, Ganji has a lot of skinners, but this is the thing. Ganji has booming a Black Forest game without doing a single farm with millions, 51 fish traps, 
which it looks great, to make skirmishers. So, the other team has to play quite sloppy to lose against skirms. Don't know if you agree, guys. You know? Red, you are not going to push with the skirms. He's defending. I mean, if the siege on is dominant now, okay. But just converting the owners is fine. Yeah, and green need to do Kassars. But he has no food. That's Tossi, a lot of food. Just move away. No, but now blue, what blue is doing, man? The monks have 12 range, amigo. Make the monks at the back. Aye, aye, aye. Convert the owners, man. Micro a little bit. Now Kassar upgrade. This is Setegane that is plus two extra for the hand cannoneers. But the thing is, orange is dead. And purple is dead. And very soon, when purple is dead, they are going to kill yellow. And soon. Yes. Yellow is coming here to help, but... They don't have map, guys. Look at the map control right now. Yeah, Khazars, Chainbard in Armor, Halberdiers. And this is the beauty of these Byzantines, you know? As you saw, he went up with one TC. He probably got some sling now. And with three TCs without crazy boom, now blue can spam army forever. Cheap army, 25% cheaper. This game is over. We are waiting for the, the, the GG and see the game number two. And it's... Is great result here for Vala's team because, in my opinion, on the right side they had a bad, a bad, uh, really bad situation they could have. But guys, Vala's, as I told you, destroyed on the left. Because if you think about this, the game is still even here. Like, well, they are not losing their economy, so red and yellow are fine, you know. But on the left or on in the north, GG call, Vala's with the total domination, Repart fully dead fully dead and in my opinion i'm telling this now i should have told uh, before um guys the repart should play flank, uh, pocket in my opinion in this series repart should play pocket a hundred percent you know i don't know what you think but he should play pocket for sure statistics military well you can see 69 for nothing, you know, but, uh, well, Repar was out of the game, and that's basically the key. He was dead completely. Completely. He reached Castleage 29 minutes. He tried to beat my record. It's impossible because I have got Castleage time in, in one hour. So uh, the record is very hard for them. These players try to, to imitate me, but they can't. They cannot, man. I have a record Castleage time, one hour. It's not possible. Game number two. Let's go. Okay, we keep going. Game number two. And let's analyze this civilization now that we are in the in the game. And see. We have on the right side Richard. That is, is his real name for blue Bengalis. Facing Ganji Aztecs. But to don't confuse you guys, I'm gonna I keep in mem red. domination membe. Thank you so much. I'm gonna leave uh, Ganji Aztecs. As a red versus blue. This is gonna be difficult. Difficult for blue for sure. He needs to send another villager. The eagle is the problem. He has no loom. Oh boy. Nah, it's impossible to wall. It's impossible and he's gonna send a, a third villager. Poof. Yeah, the eagle. Oh! Blue wasn't with the loom either. Ay, ay, ay. He's gonna lose the villager, man. Yeah, he's gonna lose the villain. Why they don't send the loot? Big mistakes one more time. Okay, and... Oh, but you don't want to lose the eagle. Well, he's sending three villains. Disgusting. On the other side, Gray is with Gurjaras as he's not gonna send villains now. Repart with Incas is sending three villains. And he doesn't want to send anything. He has... Now he's sending the villains. All right. Two villages and let's see Valas. Yeah, man. He's gonna make the loot now. I like what Valas is doing because if you send the villages from the start with Gurjaras, it is a big problem. It can be a big problem. He's gonna try to kill the eagle. Very important. All right. And now he has the bonus here working. Yeah, the camel has a lot of HP. And I think Repa is gonna die big time. On the other side, five villages forward for red, just trying to get the map. Honestly, I think he has to give up. He has five villages, it's too much. But guys, this situation is really terrible for, for Blue. Really terrible for Blue because 
This is what, what is really bad with the maps generations. The lakes. Yeah, for a competitive, I know it's more boring, but I, I believe that without lakes is better. Because now red just make a, a fist boom here and blue is dead. And then you might say, well, it's a fair map, it's two lakes per team. Total crap. The two lakes here are good. Well, the pockets can go, but having this lake here is definitive against blue, you know. And purple is blaming the ships also. All right. Good. You know what I mean? It's so complicated. Now blue is also idle TC. 40 seconds. Ganji 40 seconds too. He lost two villages. Ganji killed two. And blue is uh, again in a disaster position. But Valas, oh baby, he's going to kill villages and Repart. Is starting to die. Repart has lost already the first one. He has no no idle TC yet, but look at now Valas going with Valis even to the town center. I can't believe this, man. And now, time to... What? Is he really walling here? I mean, okay. I don't know what Valas is doing. Look at the walls he did there. Well, he thought, eh, this is too much. I'm going to go back. Yeah, now he will try to wall here, probably. And with the other three, just wall in front. He's gonna make it. Valas. Ooh. Ooh, he walled, man. Well, it's perfect map control by Valas. Perfect. He needs to go to this area and finish. But obviously, he's using a lot and he's gonna be slow. Where he's gonna make a lumber camp? He has wood for the lumber camp? Not really. So he's gonna have quite some idle time. And here... Very easy to break, remember. So, Green has sent Teutonic Tanks with Burgundians two villages to the middle. And now he has wall in this area. This is very good. Now Ganji can notice because he's clicking and the village and the eagle are going away and he didn't notice. So now he will have to wall in this area. Purple is Bohemians. Oh. You can't compete with these sieves. Aztecs and Bohemians versus Bengalis and Burgundians. Oh. All right, they have to attack. They have to attack here in the middle. Yellow has Persians. Great luring here. Yeah, all the boars. Not under the TC, but gray is coming. It's inside. And Valas is going to make his thing. You know, something crazy, but it's going to be annoying already. It's against Persians. He's so fast. Using the villages, he has no scout, and now he's gonna send more villages to chase. That's the thing. Teal and green will have a great boom. Thastosis, oh, Ethiopians. Get him up control, guys, in this area, and this is a pause. Mem jam, mem jam, mem jam. Sego Cabo, 22 moons. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Okay. We keep going. Green wall in this area. But there... Uh, uh, this is still open in this area. Which is... Can be a problem. Teal is just wall in this area. And sending the, the scout. But I insist. They have to do something. And if I was blue... With Bengalis... I would try to go up as soon as possible... Oh, he got some extra boards. And try to recover this. Just, I mean, if you get wall here, you need time. Yeah, you need time. And if I was blue, knowing that your your opponent is going to go fish, boom, you have to recover this. A tower or whatever. Gray now, oh. Valas in troubles. Supposed to be troubles. Oh god, he's gonna rewall here. This is now many villages, and now coming with another. Two villages, he's gonna rewall here. He's doing the house, but he's gonna palisade. Gray is rewalling. Yellow is walling here. They are afraid of him. But Orange is doing the archery range here. He's feudal age. He's inside with three villages, so now Orange is in a good position, he's supposed to be. Okay. 
gonna wall this area and let's see what Valas is going to do. Yeah, for now he has walled the villager. That villager is walled. And he's gonna wall the archery range, so he's not gonna achieve anything here. What is Grey going to do? He has the barrack. Okay. And village on gold? Nothing. There's two wolves. And now, time to wall the whole archery range. What is he doing, Grey? You have to wall completely. Yeah. It's crazy. The wolves are killing both villages, man. What the hell? Well, as you can see, Orange is already dead again. You know? Yeah, look at this. The wolves are helping Valas. Not anymore. All right. Yeah, and now? He's fine here. Yeah, he's fine. And he has walled all this. He's doing archers, so he's gonna make a tower here, maybe? No, he's doing an archer range, and that's it. Gonna repair a little bit. Going archers himself, but yellow is doing a stable. That's why green. Oh, yellow was trying to wall here with the stone. No way. And blue is doing exactly what I told you. Trying to recover this. Blue will have another. Oh, but he has no stone to make another tower. Ay, ay, ay. The stone is crucial. You mind if he had... Why you mind goal? That's a big mistake. Now he's gonna wall here. I mean, at least he recovers something. But... Eh. You mind, guys, that he could do a second tower. Then recover a lot more map. A lot more map. Well, it's okay. Blue did... Uh, okay, okay job here. But it's not great. Because it's still... If Aston is going fast imp... It's disaster, you know? It's still a, a, a very easy way to cut and go in. Anyway, this is three archers. And let's see how he's going to defend this. Market and a house. All right. Yeah, well, this time report is fine. It is really fine. Yellow is in Castle Age. It's doing a knight. But the knight, it won't be able to do too much. Green has to be careful and a stone wall here. Yeah, he's walling first the this this side. Yeah, it's true that this is just gonna be completely trapped. And oh, this is so bad. He didn't notice. Valas didn't notice, and now he's failing. Yellow is going to come with knights. Whoa, Valas was focused completely here. He didn't notice this hole, and now. Valas is in a problem, in a real one. He got the skirmishes and yellow is gonna come with knights. Oh boy, he still didn't notice. And now yellow is inside, orange is inside, and this is a big problem here. Wow, nobody noticed in their team that he's inside now with knights? That's crazy. Yeah, this is a very, very, let's say, poor play by Valas. It's a poor play by Valas. Stonewall this area, but didn't wall here. Now yellow is here with the knights. And the problem is real. The problem is real. He's gonna make spears, yes, but Gray is dead. And now look at the walls he's going to do. Well, why you want these walls? Just kill, man. You got knights? Nah, those walls. I will wall here, here, and here. Yeah? That's where I will wall. Well, let's see. What they are going to do? Obviously, Teal, Teal is gonna have a sick boom, but Purple has also. It's FedEx with Bohemians. Bohemians or Ethiopians? Well, I prefer Ethiopians, but Bohemians is much faster. And now Ganji is not going for the fast imp. I like it. It's going to boom. Yeah. Oh, a Siege Workshop also. All right. Very nice. Blue with the 30 C as well. And what is he going to do here? I don't know. Valas in troubles. In real troubles. Tubal is behind with orange. Now he's coming with archers. And Teal. What? Palisade gate? Very solid. That's gonna defend everything. Orange is gonna wall off. Or what is he planning to do? We will see. <laughs> he wanted to make a dog here. Yeah. Like if orange is... Teal is not gonna have anything here. Alright. 
He's here with the knights. He's gonna lose one billion more down. Okay. You can see, guys. The players are human. And he is still without the loom. I mean, seriously. How the hell do you still without the loom here? I mean, honestly. Now Siege War Shop in this area. Yeah, well, they are doing the damage. He's still without the loom. Which is bad. But make a house and then with the, with the TC you are fine. Yeah, well, he's doing a couple of houses. He's playing very well. Very well here. But this is a ram now. Okay. He's gonna wall or not? Oh, man. Now going aggressive, Ganji. Very nice. But the panic is real. You can notice the panic. You can feel the pain in the players. Here he's defended, defended properly. This is the, the loom. And orange, red part. It's on the way to castle it faster than Bawas. This will be, I know it's very early, but except that teal and green play like God, this will be game number one for, for Ganji team. You know, because Valas is behind, and the, the other, well, it's true that yellow is behind as a pocket because he's doing army, but, ah, and blue is defending, okay. 51 is 55, here is okay, no problems. He's gonna make monks now. He has no stone to... Oh, seriously, man. Don't lose the mangonel. Well, do you feel the panic, guys? Do you feel the panic? Gray's on the way to castle it now. But... How he's going to defend now? Difficult. Orange is with army here. He's gonna delete the Lamarca and he will lose the Belize. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Why, Sepi also using the market teal? Is coming with Mangonel and Monks. He's gonna be able to defend or not? Oh, he trapped. He trapped his army. He's doing now a tower. Look at Valas. Doing the market. And now, and now, and now. All that army is gonna go to the damn hell. You gotta be kidding me. He's coming with the Mangonel. And ladies and gentlemen, now he can change the game. Teal can come with the, mo with the Monks and the Mangonel and kill... Villa is an army. Army that he maybe can upgrade. Not anymore. The monks are here. Convert that villager and look at the badaboom. A beautiful move here by Valas and the blood is going to appear. Bam! Down! Let's go! Take absolutely everything. Convert now the villagers. Crazy move by Valas. Okay, and he is back in the game. All right. Very all right. Teal now with the siege and the monks. And in this area, he rewall. Man, this Valas team. Even in in bad positions, they hold like crazy one for one. No, that was so unlucky by Blue. I hate those man. They shoot each other, one die. This flat area, and the other didn't. Well, it is what it is. Now he's coming with the monks. He has wall. No, he's gonna wall now. But guys, now yellow, and it's crazy. Balastin Thestosi, that is playing amazing, can come here with Ethiopians and make a domination. So, Purple is gonna come this area. I'm not so sure about this. Purple should come to the left, in my opinion. But he's coming. Obviously, you can break very fast. He should wall a lot more, but he doesn't know, right? He doesn't know. Teal is really going to kill here to Orange. He's doing the castle now. Aye, aye, aye. 43 villages. Now Valas is gonna be booming. Three tons since it's extra. And Teal will dominate. So, if Green wall here properly and then send Paladins to the other side, big problems. What Blue need to do here is really try to wall. Okay, barracks on this area. Nice. What Green is not doing properly in this game? Not having outpost. Outpost, man. You have to outpost. Otherwise, you don't know what's going on. Really don't know what's going on. All right. Let's see what's going to happen here. It's definitely going to good soon. Yellow is not even close to go up. And orange is doing the Menatam upgrade. Solid. Menatam upgrade now is going to help a lot. Really a lot. Against a player in Imperial, the Menatams, everyone knows that he's an incredible upgrade. Anyway, let's see what they're going to do. But they're going to... Look out here. Bohemias is in this area, no, with the barrack only. And kill a villager? No, he couldn't. Blue defending, who subscribed? Thank you so much for the seven moons. Vamos! Let's go, baby. 
He converted a couple of Villiers. He can break fast. The problem is he's doing... Oh my god. Torsion and Giants. Chemistry. He has the Bomber Cannons upgrade because he knows that Bohemia is going to come. But this is what I don't understand. How the hell do you have only... Only this. Coinage? Uh, he's gonna slink? Green? They have to do fortified walls. They have to wall all the map. I wouldn't be surprised that he's going to slink. Green? To... To, 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 to who? To Valas to get back in the game? Or, or, or to what? Yeah, they break fast. They break really fast. The fortified wall is going to help a lot. But Blue, you need to wall a lot more. Yeah, Red is on the way to Imperial. And Blue need to get time. Really need to get time. Let's see. He has the Halberdiers. He's now breaking here with the... But don't let him wall, man. Thastos is now being slow. They're walling all the map. Okay, look at the Halberdiers. This is not Kovnisha yet. Okay. And what is Green going to do? Nah, no, he's doing Custeliers. All right. The Halberdiers are coming. Yellow is on the way to Imperial. Bomber Cannon is coming, so he will take the castle. But don't lose the monks. Halberdiers are there. Siege Engineer. And Valas keep booming, trying to recover. He has to do it fast or problems. Green, need to wall here and fast, or the Bohemians will dominate. Green, you need to make 10. 10 wall. What the hell? Is Green doing? Why he's not? Well, well, he's not reacting. Look at this. Look, look, look. Okay. Just make a lot of walls, man. Ay, ay, ay. Wall, amigo. Okay, he's not walling. Crazy. Blue is walling, but Green. What? What happened, man? The Custilius is not an old against that. And what the hell is Green doing? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Full Titanic gameplay by Green. You know? Full Titanic gameplay by him. I told you that Mr. Planner is a much better player. And it is a much better player. I mean, he is Mr. Planner is over 2k plus. I think um, Teutonic Tanks is 18 plus or 19 maximum. But this, this makes no sense. He only needed to wall and he let it open. So... Now, how do you stop Kubnitsi and Halvardius with Custelier? Gonna be difficult. Those I elite Custelier, yes, but Kubnitsi and Halvardius for Bohemians. It's crazy. He got all this map to wall and he never walled it. Anyway, in this area, you can see how Repa is doing exactly what he has to do to wall in this area. He's converting, converting bomber cannons, trying to get inside, but they couldn't. While here now, they are in the middle of the map. That's crazy because... I don't know. Let's see if they can hold this. I don't think they will. Look at the castle, how it's going down super quick. And against this? Well, hand cannon is kill the house, but then how you kill the Hovnitia is crazy, man. I, I, I get annoyed with those games. Like, those kind of mistakes are just crazy, really. He's going to delete the barracks or not? He's trying to go with the Hovnitia, but those Custelier are gonna melt. Now he's sending the village. Well, it's the right choice, but you send the village to wall, actually. I'm not gonna cast this. I'm just gonna let you watch and see. My goodness. Damn. Blue is doing now men at arms. The red can go in with and white red is doing monks. Just go just go well. Just go Eagles, man. Go army. He's trying to hold. Obviously, they can still win the game. You know why? Because they are destroying orange. And if they destroy orange and destroy yellow, this can be a crazy game. And now, what is Steel going to do? Green is still trying to hold. You know what? Uh, Green need to make Flemish Revolution. He need to do the Flemish Revolution. He might now doing the Flemish, but he doesn't have the resources. He has now the monks, and he need Flemish militias. Oh, oh! This game, guys, in my opinion, oh my God, those units are sick. He killed all the halves. In my opinion, this game should have been a very easy win to Valas. They are still ahead in the score. 
you know, but because of this big mistake here, they are in a trouble now. In a real trouble. Blue is coming with champions. He's doing uh, the gamstones, which is not an upgrade that is going to affect too much here because this is not uh, Pierce units. But uh, let's see. Are they going to kill now yellow? I don't know. Because Valas? Valas is going to come with riders? What is Valas going to send to try to save this? Because I believe that Valas will do something here. Oh, he's doing petards. To break... Oh, but he has cavaliers. Yeah, well. We'll see, guys. We'll see. They need to hold. They need to kill fast. That's for sure. This is elite riders and heavy camels. They have one player out of the game. Defeated. And yellow, I think, is going to be also... Man, it's crazy that with this big mistake, they can still get the game. Well, blue is going to be there with champions. But yellow has paladins. Paladins not going to be too strong here against the crazy amount of halves. And if he break here and he's breaking, he's going to spam now riders and try to get the economy. We will see, guys. We will see. Anyway, guys, as you can see, green and blue are together here trying to hold against Fedis and Ganji. This is going to be very difficult. He's sending the not champions yet. This is a lot of crystalliers, but green still trying to send all the army. Let's see this. He's going to clean this. Oh, and now Teal is coming with Hounds. This is crazy, man. This is absolutely crazy madness battle. He's here with the... With the... Oh, no, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Eating the castles with the bomber cannons. Okay, now the Havard is coming back. You have to be careful. Oh, my God. Almost losing all the bomber cannons, but the Havard is now eating the paladinos. Obviously, you need to micro properly, but the archers are here. This is full spamming. Havard is and Hubnice dominating, as you can see. Now the army from green kind of bye-bye. This is the champions. Moving now green with more and more tone centers. Now there is no bases. There is no trade route. They are just trying to get the middle both teams and... The key is going to be here, Valas, that with now uh, Riders, a lot of Riders is going to try to kill Yellow's economy. I believe so. This is what he's trying now. Gray is still completely safe at home. So Gurjaras with the domination, they are trying to trade and they won't be able to trade. But guys, Teal, where is the army from Teal? He's trying to defend the middle now. Oh my god, they are defending the middle. Yes, they defend the middle because, and I insist, the army from Ganji is bad. Now he's bringing Jawa warriors. Yes, good army. But that's what he needed before. And now they got to try to sling here. Teal got a lot of farming. So many helps that are all were. Well, he's coming through this area too. Trying to raid. Look at the camels here now. Okay. And raiding all over. Yeah, if they recover the middle, it's pretty obvious that Vala's team will win the game. Why? Well... Because they have one player defeated, one player less. And right now, it's incredible. But they stabilize here. The Bohemian's player has lost a lot. He's coming with health, but now the halves are useless. And just look, Bengalis, champions, doing the job. What the hell? Problem is that Green has nothing now. Green has 141 Valise, 17 Custelier. It's time for him to do something else than Custeliers, right? Or Custodius is fine. Well, with the champions and helps, it's okay. Bombard Cannon will take the castle, but shoot, shoot. No, he's sitting. Okay. He has to kill it. In this area, this is the big problem here. The army from yellow is Paladins. He has trade, no. Look his gold. He's going down. The stone is going down. And now Balas and Teal will push completely. And when they kill these castles, it's game. It is game. Valas team is on fire. Even with mistakes, are winning this, the game. Because, well, Teal has been a lot faster than Yellow. They were doing a good job against Valas, but then the pocket has Tossi with the fish. Remember this. 33 fishing ships. Yellow got fish. Even if he's Persians? No, he didn't. And now Gujaras obviously gonna eat Persians. They can't do anything here. They did a good attempt here. But as you can see, it wasn't an oath. And now they can't push anymore. And Kanji? He has what? 
uh, Elite Hours. Elite Hour Warrior, not close to be fully upgraded. He has no resources at all. And ladies and gentlemen, Vala's team is in a domination mode activated. I think they are playing better and better during the tournament, honestly. They did that mistake, but overall... Uh, but again, this legs has been uh, more decisive than I thought. At the end, Ganji didn't fish as much as I thought. And well... Yeah, it's, uh, it's looking close now for the 2 zero. Yeah, mainly because for one reason or another, I don't think that now Repart play bad, you know, but just the, the help from Yellow didn't make no damage. And now, yeah, this castle is gonna be down Let's almost go. at the same time that he's doing. Look, he got Paladins and Crossbows, but it's impossible. It's really impossible. A lot of Paladins, yes, Crossbows as well, but look at the army from Grey and Teal. Crazy army. And here they only need to hold. They only need to hold his spamming champions, Pikes, Custelier, Lightcat, whatever. They just need, you need to hold. And when you kill this castle, then yellow base is going to the hell. Check the population and you will see how fast it's going to drop. It's gonna drop a lot. Like a lot. Thank you, Mr. Black. Blackbow88. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uh, look at the halberd he is here. All right. For Trebuchet, gonna take the TC. There you go. Nice. It's fully over. Look at yellow population, guys. Look at yellow population. And now, purple base will die. They will call the GG very soon. Like, very, very soon. Or they sold, at least. Yeah, Valas is sending resources to blue. They need some. You can see the markets here. They can trade now. They are still the champions. Uh, obviously, a very nice choice. You know? GG call, I told you. GG call, Vala's team 2 0, man. 2 0. Whoa. Yeah, if they are still like this, definitely it's gonna be. But Ganji has been in situations like this before, and they came back from the hell. Honestly, I don't see that they can come back against this Vala's team for a reverse sweep. Don't think so. Because they did a fail. And even with a big fail by Green, they still won, I will say, clearly. Because Mr. Repart, amigo, and they have to listen, guys. Repart, pocket. Repart, pocket. 12 army, Villis 81, dead again. And well, you. as you Thank can see, Felix 71 army, 93 army Thastosi playing as a pocket. Very, very strong. And well, GG, well played, guys. Game three. Okay, guys, we keep going. Game number three. Sorry for the delay. It's not up to me. But if you're watching on YouTube, there's no delay for you guys. So it's sick. Oh, I don't have the, the capture rage open now. But it will be in a moment. There you go. It is open now. Ganji and Balastin. Ganji Portuguese. Oh. oh. Very nice map. Black Forest, you know? Black Forest. Ganji versus Valas team. Valas versus Ganji. Portuguese. Poles. All right. With a lake here. All right. On the right side, Blue is already doing an amazing job. And with Britons, he has wall already forward, and he's gonna wall into the middle. And he's gonna have a great map control, and very easy. FedEx, Malian's flank won't have anything to do here against the Britons. And you know what? This is what happened with the map generations, you know? He's much closer, you see? Well, look at the distance from red. So you can never get a good wall here. That's a problem for sure. And here? Go, go, go and kill. No. He's going to wall. I will do two palisades and then take the three boars. Then we have green Mr. Planet as a hands. Honestly, this is a perfect map to go three players to this side. So they need repart and yellow do the same. But I can tell you something here. Very clear. Oh, he's sending a villager. You have to wall and quick with this villager. Don't Titanic, man. The scouts 
Uh, man, just wall. What, I, what is he doing, man? It's taking so long to wall. Ready's gonna go here. Yeah, well, this is a sloppy play. Knowing Ganji that he's super fast. Now he's coming with the villagers. Okay, trying to get some HP. And well, oh, the wolf is helping a lot. You could just palisade. What the hell? He's gonna make a house here? No, no, no. It can be. Oh, his house is now blue. Yeah, and he didn't pick the four ships, you know. Yeah, this is a this is a big mistake in my opinion. Yeah, it is a bad play. I mean, it's a sloppy play, more than a bad play, you know, because it's pretty obvious that this will happen. And now two villages. He's trying to make the chaos. He could have a very very nice wall here. And now disaster. Second villager coming, and he didn't take the ships. I'm telling you. Then in two trip, he will have no food under the TC, and this is what is going to be now. Blue in a Terrible position. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. And green now going away. Just look how a, a great position here is just gonna be completely different. Oh, he's taking the board. He's taking the board. And he's sending three villages now. For what? For what he's sending three villages? Just to have one villager here dead? Uh, pretty much. Kill the scout. And now with the three villages, you can break there. Go for the scout. Yeah. Okay, blue is playing now. Very bad. I mean, it's what it is, you know? It's how he's playing. Very bad. He has no foot under the TC. With Britons has one mini title town center. And he's failing big time now. He is still not doing villages, guys. Look. Still not taking the ships. Now taking the foot. One minute, 16 seconds idle. That means 13 population with Britain. His opponent, 16. It's incredible. It is incredible. What a big fail. Anyway. Deal now. Saving that villager. And let's see what Valas is going to do here. Yeah, he has now three villages here. Wasting. Okay. If he recovers, this might be fine. But it's crazy, right? How can change this? Oh, God. And now? He's going to recover the walls? Nah. No, he's not going. He's going to lose more village, Blue. Yeah, he will. He's going to lose his village, probably. Or maybe not. He's trying to block. Ah, that was a good move. Not because purple is coming. Ooh. Block it. Block it. He did it and now lost the village. And... Is going to take this Valir. But this is just... Hmm. Shall I play the Titanic? He's... I will play. Well, some players obviously don't have the consistency. Uh, Blue Rita has been playing a very solid series till now. Till now, you know, because being five villages behind with Britons is insane, you know. It's really insane. He lost two villages and one many 20 seconds idle TC. That's why he is five villages behind. He's now taking three boards here, and he could have got a brutal wall here, but he didn't. And now he's failing. All right, on the other side, it's still. I have the feeling that how the map generation it is and how the walls are, maybe blue here is going to be relevant, you know? Yeah, maybe it's going to be relevant because I feel that the big battle is going to happen on the left. We will see. Will you kill me? Nine moons? Vamos, blue might be nervous. Maybe. It's a possibility. Great mill, guys. Amazing mill. Yes. I love this mill, you know. Out of the map, guys. Amazing. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful mill to make. Great. Well, he's doing the mill for, for taking the DS, but why not to make the mill just here? You know? It, the distance is it's not too much, and then you make farms around. Now you can make two farmers only with this mill. I mean, it's not a big deal, but still... 
Can be. Now he's doing the milk here, which is similar because he could do here and then you can make farms later, but still. He's doing close to the wood. No problem. And Teal is gonna come with army or not? Teal is Korea. He's gonna go siege. No, Orange is doing market and Blasmith. Purple. Market. Blasmith. Three on gold. Three more boars. Not on a stone. And what is the, their plan? Let's see what is gonna be their plan. But they are doing market and Blasmith. No army for anyone. What the hell? Market and blast with everyone. Let's go, baby. Teal is still going up slower because he has the fish here. Orange can probably see it. No, he actually didn't. He has the lumber camp here and what? Repart. Guys. Oh my god, what I'm just watching here. Guys, Repart to go up to Castle, it's this fast. Check his stone. That's a Spanish. He sell 200 stone. What the hell? With fees and with three extra boars, you have to sell 200 stone? Oh my god. Like, seriously, man. Are you for real? I mean, as a flank, Valas, stone, I mean, I can understand, but... I don't know, man. I really don't know. Valas is gonna go up in a moment. He has four villages on goal. It's not many stone. He's respecting his opponent a lot. You know, and now this is a tower in this area. Red is not up. And red might see the tower. He, I like this. I mean, he failed in the start. And now he's trying to recover the map. He just six villages behind. My goodness. But at least he's just gonna try to wall in this area. And it's okay. Yeah. Ready to wall now here. Market. Yeah, but then blue is fine. As I told you, irre ir ir irrelevant for this game. He's not taking the lake here. I think blue should minus Tom. Yeah. Even better than gold. But at least he's stabilizing now and gonna go up to castle. I like it. What is Grey going to do? Valas, not on goal. He's on a stone only. All right. And he see how they are booming open here. They are booming, not doing any. And now what Purple is doing is buying a stone to make his extra tone center. But he's only one TC. Okay. Oh, he killed the scout. Come on. He took the scout, man. Seriously. Well, he's doing a nets. Red is now doing double attacks. Siege was shot by green. Mr. Planner. Oh, man. This can be very annoying, actually. Because he has the fish. He's only the siege war shot, doing a mangonel and trying to take this lake. But they don't. They are not using the lake, which is bad. 15 and now, months of men. Balas Can't wait for KOTD. It's booming. Thank you, Machiavelli. Thank you so much. KOTD should be amazing. We hope so, right? We hope so. So, great booming too. Double monastery with how many villains on gold for Valas, guys? Guys, check Valas' resources. Double monastery and how many villains on gold he has, Valas? Zero. Literally zero. He has no gold. He's selling the stone to make monks. Crazy. And now he will take the relic. Oh boy. Let's see his plan. Siege war shop. Orange can see, right? The double monastery? Not really. But he has a siege war shop. Okay. But why playing so defensive? I don't know. This don't think is good. Now, he's gonna kill the market. And what is Red doing? Oh. Red is gonna make a castle. Well, what? He's scared. Well, right now, red is in a worse position than blue. Look at his economy. She's handed a stone. He's just gonna make. What the hell? 
I don't know what he's doing, actually. I don't know what he's doing with this economy. 800 gold. Now he's going to drop a castle. Yeah, he's just going to be defensive. He has to focus here. Well, his economy is definitely going to be completely destroyed. Look at his echo. Super unbalanced. Oh, boy. Three TCs are now coming with the monks. Yeah, let's see what uh, what Valas is doing now. He's doing redemption. He has added in no. And now the siege workshop. He's gonna go monks and siege. Better boom for, for Ganji. And he's doing now a castle. And now, blue need to be careful. No, no, no. This is a risk that you don't want to take. Oh my god. Oh my god, don't lose the mango. Just one more, man. Yeah. Yeah. He just wants to make the castle there. And just wall a little bit. He almost killed his village and... Well, is Felix trying to go up to Imperial with one TC? Psst. I don't think it's a good strategy, in my opinion. Because he's not going to be a super quick up. We'll see. I might be wrong. Maybe going monks is helps. But this is still not a great echo. With the mangonel now, just wall. Eh. He's doing the farmers. He has double attacks only, not even horse collar. You can wall this. If Green is going with the mangonel, he can. But Green, you need to help. Why he's here with Mangoras if he's not gonna help? I don't know. Yellow, four tone centers. Why Seppi slaps? But check green population. I told you that Mr. Planner is solid. I know that he has the lake, but he's also. Oh my god. 27 fishing ships. He's also doing Mangoras. And even like this, you can see. Solid. Ooh, one for one? No. Only bad thing is that he's losing all the Mangoras. Billy is. On the tower, man. On the tower, and now FedEx is gonna lose that mango. Oh. He's on the way to Imperial Age. On the way to Imperial Age. And that's a problem now. Correct. Orange, redemption. He's coming with so many monks. He has a tower there, so that tower. Yeah, he can repair. He can heal the, the, the monks. But now, what? Blue's gonna wall more. Because he's gonna open this. You have to wall and fortify the walls. He's playing good, man. He has three tone centers. He's walling completely. And now, ooh, that's a castle. Balas, he's gonna take the, the mangonel and, and, and the monks. Ay, ay, ay. Well, he converted one, but he's gonna take the list. He's taking a lot. He can convert out to his own mangonels, too. Did he make the sanity or not? Balas is losing here. Valas is definitely losing here. And here, Ganji with Portuguese now with the castle here. Oh boy, gonna send the villains back. Not really. Now he's going to convert that tower. So, go back a little bit. And the monks won't help a lot. What is now Valas going to do? Um, he's gonna drop a castle here. He should stonewall this area. And he's gonna drop the castle exactly in that position. Then he's fine. He's completely fine. What Tilt will do? Stonewall here. Red and yellow are coming. And green is on the way to Imperial as well. And it's gonna be Paladinos versus Slavs Halves. That's the problem. I think Mr. Planner here should do Cav Archers and Traps. That's my opinion. Cav Archers and Traps. But he's thinking that blue will have Lombos or Arbalets. But blue is far, far away from that position. Green is gonna make the markets in this area okay. And more fortified walls are needed. He's gonna have Petars, man. He's doing Petars and Gebetos. Blue need to wall more and fast. Or this can be very, very annoying. Yellow is coming with Siege. Siege in this position is not what you need. This is what you need. Barracks. Why? Because they can open and be fast. He's doing stables. But I insist. Archie Ranges is the way to go. Now, I like a lot. Fedex is going to go with the traps. Don't know why they are not walling more. Doesn't make any sense. But well, they know better. A green has zero stone. That's a real problem because you want traps and he doesn't have traps. Obviously, green is going to be, in my opinion, faster than yellow. Not with the timing, but with the army. 
Here is the organ guns. The organ guns are now kind of crap. Completely crap. Why Teal didn't wall forward? Well, Gray is doing the job now. And he's coming here with Village to make a TC in the other part of the map. Teal is coming here with a Barrack. Village number is the same, but Orange is about to click up to Imperial, while Valas is not yet in that position. All right. He's up, and this tower is going to help. You have to be careful. Don't lose the monks. And he's not losing the monks. All right. This position, still, man, the fortified walls are so strong. Cavalier upgrade. All right. Cavalier upgrade. We'll have so many stables. Blue is about to click up to Imperial. And Britons is going to help a lot. Like, really a lot. It's lots of privileges. So, he feels that going now full knights is going to help. Maybe he has monks, he has another tower, but Teal is gonna be is in Imperial already with 136 village test Tossi. The problem is that the castle is not up yet. If it was up, it would be in a very good position. Here, well, there is a dog, but purple Paladin upgrade is Spanish. Here, Repart, Sul do the domination 148 villages, as you can see. Crazy boom as well. Yes, and now the Paladinos. Oh boy, I think Valas here is in a problem, in a real problem. He's gonna do knights maybe, but why he did this lots of privileges? I don't know. He's gonna make towers. He should wall a little bit, but he's not walling. He needs to make halves, and a lot of halves. Here in this area, you can see monks by red, halvard Diaz, and now I think this is the 2 1, guys. Pretty much. Six rams, halvard Diaz, and monks. He got here what? Cavaliers. Green is not even doing the Paladin upgrade. No Paladins, man. No Paladins. So now what you can do against this army with light caps? Well, booming to light caps is the way to go. My goodness. Cap arches, I said from the start. And then also wall a little bit more. Because now against the helps, what you do with this? What you do with this? Not too much. Blue has a still no army. He's doing now Lombos, but he has one castle. So the game... It's completely over here. Like, they get destroyed, in my opinion. He has the trap, so he's gonna take the castle. I don't know how you're gonna stop now the slabs. I mean, you cannot. Simple cannot. And you can see how now, with a simple strategy, open here, FedEx with zero economy, he just open for slabs, and they destroy the hands. Yeah, hands, four army, guys. Four army, simple, three cavaliers, if Mr. Planner is the top scorer in their team, we know that they are Fook. You know what means Fook, right? Exactly what they are right now, Vala's team. So, yeah, and they have a Spanish. So if they trade now, they have a great economy. Blue can go with the Arches. We'll try to go. He's doing now the Paladin upgrade, yeah? Paladins with how many Cavaliers? Zero. Zero. Mr. Planner got... Total dominated here by Yellow. Yellow has right now 68 halvardias, 7 rams. Why has 2,700 gold in the bank. And is still doing stables. I know that Hans is a very complicated matchup here. But maybe Korea should go to the right. And then Hans to the left. Anyway, he has been very slow. And Green is completely dead. So basically in the previous game, Teutonic Tanks kind of failed. But now... Uh, Mr. Planet failed more, man. I mean, it's difficult, I insist. But it, it was pretty obvious that he was going to come with halves, slaps. Why you go cavalry? I mean, I don't say that with cavalry he will stop because the rams are very hard to stop. But that's why they needed to massive wall and get time for, for Britons, probably. Anyway, he has 70 population. They are dead in both sides. And you can see how it has changed... The, 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 the games, right? The series in the first two games, super clear for Vala's team. And this one, completely opposite. Much better strategy now for Ganji team. And honestly, for being a semi-final, this is what is deserved. You know, to get closer series because a 3-0 is disappointing. Not what you expect. He is coming now with the Lombos, but Yellow is destroying Green. Can Teal help? Well, he's trying. They are trying for sure. They're gonna keep trying. Valas has no population at all. 91 villages, 30 army with the poles. He's still in castleage. This is absolutely GG. They are not calling it, but it's impossible for them to come back here. Druzinha. Imai now with Druzinha. Oh my god. 
Well, he's gonna attack now that the champions are gone. With those, but... Okay. Teal is still playing very nice. All halves, and now a lot of nice here by... By... Uh, by Valas, but these Paladins and Hand Cannoneers against Knights and few halves. Oh boy, oh really boy. G GG call guys, the series are getting closer. And I say it guys, I say it from the start of the series, Repart Pocket. First game they use Repart Pocket. Clear win for Ganji team guys. Clear win for Ganji team and who is the top score in the game? Guys, who is the top score in the game? Repart, guys. A Repart. He did a great boom, a sick boom here with the lake. Uh, total domination boom. He did 96 paladins. He was faster than their opponent and he killed a lot. Yeah, he killed the most in the game. 124. As you can see, economy, the best economy in the game by far, by far. And he was in Imperial 27 minutes. Well, Mr. Flyer, 28 minutes as well. So, yeah, good play, guys. They destroyed, obviously, the FedEx strategy here worked because Wysepi did 79 largest army. Mr. Planner, 28 army. Game four, guys. Go. Let's keep going. And now we will see the, the game number four. And with the map and map generation, everything can change. And I see, I see lakes. And the lakes are very nice. The lakes are very nice in this map. I love it. Why I love it, guys? Well, let's put FedEx orange and Ganji red again. Oh, actually, I didn't change the colors before. Mm, maybe now you get... I will leave Ganji as a red. You know? This is... Absolutely great. This wolf is absolutely disaster, but purple is already there. The wolf is coming. He's a wolf here. Don't go greedy. Wolf or uh, wolf already. Wolf already. Don't go greedy. Yeah, don't go greedy, man. Mm, is that a Space Jam t-shirt? Yes, it is, but blue is already panicked, man. Look at the wolf he's doing with this villain, man. Oh, come on. Yeah, he, you can notice how blue in this kind of situations is definitely not in the same level than Ganji. Ganji dominate. And Purple is also there faster. He could have walled this 100%. And he didn't. And now, he's gonna be Fook. He's gonna send two villains more. You cannot let him wall here with Malai. Definitely cannot. You need to go forward with the four villains and wall in this area. And honestly, I don't know if Ganji really want to take these big battles. Oh my god. You got four villains, man. Go, go, go. He's gonna kill it, that Valir. Oh my god. What happened, Ganji? No! You, you should kill that Valir. Oh my... Ooh, Ganji. Ganji, 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 amigo. Go back with those two. Yeah, he has the scout also. No, no, no. Don't lose it. Full HP now. And... Well... Oh, man. The speed, man. The speed. Now. And... Just wall that area. He's not wall. Seriously? Just make a wall, man. Make a wall! Peppa Pali site! No! Well... Actually... If he micro properly... He's gonna wall even more forward. Oh, this is absolutely sick for, for Blue. Like, really sick. At least that he got a lot of idol. Well, both the similar similar idol. Yeah, this is brutal. I'm checking this because in the other side, everything is open. Oh. What is Valas doing? This casting with Berbers. He's gonna wall this and he's not gonna be able to pretty much take the wood from that one. Orange is doing now. Remember, guys, that Berber villains now are not as fast as before. Look, 0.84. 0 0.80 be, uh, before the, the patch, it was 0 0.88. Now he's a little bit slower, all right? Yellow has wall already here. Okay, Wysepi. And he's bringing out three boars with what? Loom or not? Yeah, with the loom, of course. 
This is three villages and try to, to make the damage. Those villages are faster, but not as extreme as before, as you can notice. Uh-oh, that is scout. What is still going to do? Kells. That's nice. Kells and Teutons in the same area. Why I like it, the lakes? Because both Repart and Green, Mr. Planner, got the lake. And also red and blue. So the situation is what? What he did here? He can chop that tree. I think he can. He can chop these three guys. What do you think? He's going to be able to chop this tree and go forward? Blue got a sneak villager? Where? No. Don't think so. He's going to wall. He will wall. He cannot chop that tree? Are you sure? Why not? Why he cannot chop that tree? Gray is still being annoying here with villagers. And now he wall off. Oh my god. He's going to wall off here too. He's sold. Honestly, he's sold. I don't know what he's not doing. But let's see. Green's gonna wall all the map. But there's wolves. Four boars, guys. Now, the boar is 0 0.96 speed. He's taking four boars, man. What the hell? Oof, that's a lot of food, man. That's a lot of food. But why he's not walling here? I don't know. Anyway, blue is walling and... Well, now he has wall, a second palisade. He's doing the dock. He's a wall, everything. And he's going to lure four boars now. Oh, no. Okay, he's taking all the boars. No, not all the boars. Now he's taking them all. It's not easy. Luring, luring, and luring. Let's go. Okay, he has four boars at us. Well, it's a lot of food, man. It's really a lot of food. Okay, he has the map control here. Another question is... Oh. He's defending here, but orange is up, guys. Faster than gray. Oh, man. Oh, man. Seriously. Seriously, he walled the scout here, Balas. Now he's gonna make the Barak, the Obama. You need to wall that village. Yes, he's walling. He can see also now the Barak from Orange that is faster. But, but, he has wall here. He need to wall this area too. And now, he's up. Balas, now, are going up or not? Oh, he has no buildings to go up. He need the Barak to go up, guys. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. He's going up now. Berbers. And this is an archery range. And this Valir is going to die. Yeah. Oh, he did it, man. The micro, man. The dumb micro. He took the scout. And now he needs to go back with the Valir. He's going to wall a little bit. That the spear is faster. So that Valir might die. Oh, come on. Come on! He's gonna lose the spear, man. Yeah, he didn't lose the spear. Now he's walling a little bit. He's a wall this area. But gray, orange, no. Look at the village. They are struggling. This is the dog. Blue is up faster. It's definitely... He lost a village here. He's not up yet. Be annoying. And now he's gonna go galleys. What I will do if I'm blue? I will do a tower. Why not? Italians. You make a tower here. Thank you so much for the soup. And you avoid that Malai that is gonna be up quick because of his crazy civilization. He can take the water back. With mem I regret a tower, nothing. man. Thanks for your passion for O2. I will do a tower. It's my pleasure, man. It's my pleasure. We'll always love this game. It's not only about the time that I'm streaming. I've been with this game much before I have a Twitch channel, you know, a lot earlier. And now Blue is going to make a dock. He should come and make a tower. I'm telling you, a tower is needed here and he needs to make it. Is Menstradamus? No, it's knowledge, man. The tower is needed. I will do plans with and fletching a hundred percent, you know. That will help a lot. He's doing the tower, as you can see. Fire Galley, he's doing the counter tower too. 
Very nice for both players doing the, the good job. And here now, Gray Valas has no goal to go up. What is he going to do, Valas, here? He need to wall, man. He's gonna break him. Uh, Valas is giving a lot of map control. Orange, it's walling him off. Oh my lord. This is absolutely sick. Yellow is here with the villager. Valas can die now. But I'm telling you something. If Waisepi don't do the damage to Valas, that maybe he's not going to make it. Valas is going to sell the stone. Yeah, he's up to castle it. Oh, man. This is going to be sick. He wall off. That's good. Yes. But if he's... Oh, Monastery first. Okay, Valas will do a castle here. Then he will defend Lonely. And Teal is full booming with Kells. Against a Teutons that is doing army. And Knights! And Knights as well. Aye, aye, aye. Well, he need to make a house here. Obviously, the Knights can do damage. A lot more than he expect. Let's go to his point of view. What happened here? This is also huge for Blue. I mean, if he's losing now, he took the fish. So, right now, he's not fish booming for free. He can't make here. He's doing now the Blasmid. And uh, Blue... Oh my god, Blue don't even have... What, what is what is the food he has? Or what uh, what is the food he has? He has zero food. Just, just all it is, the shepherd? Okay. But... Yeah, he see the knights. He's gonna wall. He has to wall. A stone wall. Oh, baby. Well, if he's stone wall, and he's gonna do exactly what I told you, Valas, with many villages on stone, he has to wall this area. He's at the limit. He's gonna make the castle exactly in that position, doing few houses here. But that castle is gonna save him completely. Yeah, castle on the TC. He has no redemption. There's the Magonal now. But Valas will have the will have the castle now. Here the castle. Let's go. Oh my God! It's a huge castle for the game. It's a really huge castle for the game. And if he convert a village, that's a matter. It's gonna be well defended. And now this is all wall, wall as well. And ladies and gentlemen, the Kells is gonna have a huge boom going. Huge boom going, I'm telling you. Blue still here doing a good job. He has now fish, he has the mill also with the berries, so they are okay. Red 36 population, blue 36 as well, so he's in a perfect position. And now they're gonna... What? This wall is not from Teal. Oh! Oh! My bad, it was orange and Teal has no defense. Ah, oh, come on! Oh, Titanic! I thought that Teal has wall and he didn't wall! And look at now, what is he doing? Whoa, 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 what? Man, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm a tu casa, hombre. A tu casa, hombre. A tu casa. Come on, man. I mean, seriously, what the hell is this gameplay? I don't understand anything. I don't understand anything at all. I mean, Valas is doing a brutal defense. An amazing one. And, and then he's not even walling here. You gotta be kidding me. A tu casa, hombre. Anyway. Do you know what means a tu casa? Or I have to translate. Decider, let's go. Yeah, I mean, now I could I could see a decider happening. It's true that he has to have 20 villages more, but Teal got how much? How much army guys got Teal to defend now? Can you tell me how much army got Teal? Please. How much army he has? And how much bill is on goal? Fastosi. Zero. Zero army, zero village on goal. Disaster gameplay. You see, guys, how the players are playing booming really well. Okay, I'm booming. Yeah. But then when they have to take decisions, is when things change. And uh, the game become completely different. Now, he has 62 villages and... The, yeah, well, he wall here. So he's not going to send more. But he has a node. He has the villages inside, orange and yellow. Siege war shot. Well... Siege War Shop, not gonna help a lot here. He got the monks, chain bard in armor, 42 villages, and now what purple need to do? 
rep art. Khmer. And this is the question here. He has 21 fishing ships and he has Khmer. No Khmer farms. Look at the houses. Amazing. Well, you can make the farms any, anywhere. Is that worth it? I know his population is crazy. Look at now his population. 83. Yeah, but green? 90. 90 population without farms. That makes more sense with Tatars because not farm bonus. So let's see. And he is still with the tower. All right. Ganges in Castle is coming with... Oh, make a demo, man. Make a damn demo. A demo. The, the, the demo. But guys, Teal, that could be in a brutal position, he just throw it the game for his team. And it's unbelievable, really. Really unbelievable, because what Valas can do here now? He has three camel arches and 41 villagers. Yeah. And he lost the Tom Center. He's going to lose the Mangonel. Here he's, gonna, he's losing everything. He has one spear. Well, the same that Tastosi played the first two games. Great. This is a full Titanic, guys. Or not. It's a full Titanic and the game should be over. At least that green can do magic here. Which, don't think so. We'll see. Green is on the way to Imperial. He can clean this. Well, let's see. I mean, Grey cannot even help. And now Grey is doing what? He's walling off. Oh, okay. Shut up, man. All right. Valas wall off completely now. And if Purple is not doing a castle, but he will. He can could. Yeah. Okay, let's see what they do. Decisions matters a lot. Obviously, it's crazy, but Teal still have nothing. No army, man. No army at all. Two spears. It's crazy, seriously. I can't believe what I'm watching. Seriously. Anyway. A lot of aggression. Which is what, what we love it. Camelars is now raiding here. Orange. That's good. But green now. Need to make castles here. And clean with the with the Kashyyyk. Blue. Ah. This is a castle to defend. But also he's going to go up to Imperial. But purple. It will cut very fast. You need to wall all the map. Deal. Uh, it's not going Keshik. It's going Cavaliers or Khazars. All right. Another TC down. Teal is still going great. But guys, just check. Yellow and orange population. It is still low. Like, they're going all in. So, Teal is still with more villages than others. It's true that the villages are not even working. He's doing another tower. Okay. But Thastosi never did a single amount of army. Like, never got pikes, never got more than two mangonels. He has no, no resources. Yeah, I mean, the crazy thing is that he was booming when he saw that his opponent was attacking against two and didn't wall. That, that's, that's hilarious. You know, hilarious. He's doing now the bloodlines. He's going to go Khazars. Okay, booming to Khazars. 113 villages. Khazars will happen. It's true that it's 27 minutes only. So, obviously, uh, Khazars can kill. And now, Thastosi, the Kels Boomer, lowest score in the game. And one TC push. He's, this is his base now. Beautiful. Going with the nice wall, man. Wall. Oh, my God. Okay, he wallet now. He's going to go now or not? Delete the houses and go. Purple already. And Ambre. And Blue didn't even notice, you know? I mean, seriously. Look at Purple already. He didn't even notice. Don't wall at all because he's focused on this area. Look at Blue, guys. Blue gonna be like, hello. Hola. Just look. Yeah, man. Crazy, man. Crazy that now Vala's team is looking that they are going to lose the series. Because when you start to to Titanic like this, I mean you never know. Let's see. Because Gray Valas is still doing a good job. Oh my god. He's gonna make a castle on his face. There you go. And Green. Can Green save this? Look at the extra extra three DCs. Green camels. Sending the camels. You, you, he's cleaning all. Are you kidding me, man? Are they still winning this game? Oh my god. Are they winning this game? Because they can. 
you know? Blue is now in Imperial. He can go now Trebuchet. Stop doing Genoese Crossbowman. Now he's not walling here. You can see the camel. Oh my god. Guys, Repart only needed to go halves. Halves and siege ramps, in my opinion, you know? Because blue has no echo. And then Tatar has no 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 answer against the, 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 the halves. He needs to go cav arches. This is a castle. It's incredible, man. Look at the eight markets he's doing. And now Valas is killing Orange. That's, this, this is hilarious. This is really hilarious. Yeah. Well, they clean all these. Teal is now rebooming. He's going to make finish this tower if you want. You can make another TC or whatever. And ladies and gentlemen, unbelievable to game. You know? Unbelievable game. Unbelievable series. Let's see if Ganji can do something when he reaches Imperial. Because they are pushing Purple completely back. Now he has Calvar Diaz, but this castle is about castle. And now blue with not a lot of economy. Only one TC, as you can see. Well, he's doing a galley. He just made a galley. Oh, for the Cavalier. All right. Makes sense. Camel Arches. And yellow is up to Imperial with 75 failures. Up to Imperial with 75 failures. TC going to be down. TC with Botkin. Green will have now Silk Armor. For the Khazars, Cassus, he's doing. Look at now the Genoese Crosswoman. Genoese Crosswoman, and what is Red going to do? Because I'm really thinking about this. What is now Ganji going to do? Oh, well, double attacks right now, Ganji. Ganji! Double attacks. He did any upgrade? Oh, yeah, horse collar, and that's it. All right. Seek economy. Orange, gonna be losing all this. Yeah, and Balas. Uh, definitely doing an amazing job because now Orange is fully dead. Fully dead. And guys, seriously, Teal is going to be back in the game very soon. He's going to be back in the game very soon. He got now six stone centers. My goodness. Yeah, and Green here, is he killing or not? Not really. But uh, uh, guys, why Orange is not doing... Sorry, orange, green. Why green is not doing now heavy cap archers? Well, Keshix are good too. But with the army they are doing... I know that he has Genoese Crosswoman, but I don't know. Red is coming Cannabid Warriors. Blue need more Genoese. He has not great upgrades. He's not a lead, not a single armor. Oh my god. Oh my god, if he's losing this army. Are they still gonna lose now this, this battle here or not? Remember that. Now Ganji can come with millions of cannabis warriors. Millions of them. Elite is gonna be. He has to be careful. He has only one castle. They take half the population. Blue going back. Trebuchet. They just need to hold. Because I really believe that now on the other side, Valas is in a total domination mode activated. Yes, he's on the way to Imperial. Jello is here with honor upgrade. But he has 95 villages and zero army. Literally zero army. Well, now Valas has recovered all the map control. What a gameplay by Valas here. Very good play, man. Great decisions, man. So sick. Yeah. Imagine if Teal, guys, if Teal was wall here or on his own KM base, eight months, winking face. this game was over a long time ago. Now those Trebuchet. Thank you, Mr. Savius. Those Trebuchet has 18 range. He can have with Siege Engineer 19. And then he just need to hold here. Obviously, red, Ganji, not a lot of farming. Blue, a lot more. Just wall here, and then you get time. These Trebuchet are sick. Bomber Cannon will be great. We'll see if he's gonna have it. But, guys, the Kels is back in the game. 123 Belize. He's up to Imperial. Now Siege. He got Cassus here, the Teutons. Yes, but Gray's almost there. He's gonna have the Bloodlines, Ballistic. He just needs to defend this castle, this position. Why Teal is here doing a castle with one village? I don't know. He feels that he's a Sicilian village, but no, it's Kelts. You know, now he's gonna break this. Break the walls, remember? You have to break the walls. Everything is open, but break the damn walls. All right, if you wanna trade, of course. Because the trade is going now through this area, which is not the best. Uh, you know, crazy game, guys. Remember, guys, that this is the semi-final. Rage Forest 4 semi-final. Hosted by Williams. $10,000. Sponsored by Microsoft. And we are covering the whole event. I have covered all the series, guys. Everything is on YouTube also. If you miss something, 
very nice cities, you know, crazy games. These BF games are are really fun, you know. A lot of action more, most of the times. Some Titanics, but that makes the games even more fun to watch. Anyway, here they can hold now. Elite Genoese Crosswoman, they don't have anything here to take this. Nothing. Keshik and Genoese, come on. They kill everything. And this is Elite Camel Archers. Elite Camel Archers. He's going to lose the castle, yes. But Teal is already there. And he still have one castle here. Is he breaking this? Yes. But now you need to delete the walls, Mr. Ballas. He's going to delete it. Oh, let's see. They have to, to talk. But guys, this battle is insane. Genoese Bowman, Elite Keshik. They are taking absolutely everything, like everything, or not. Well, Red Ganji has now millions of cannabis warriors. A lot of them. A lot of them. Renelation. Teutons. Oof. Not easy, guys. Not easy. Teal is still with no army. No army at all. One trap, four Onegas, three Rams. Yellow, all is each, but pushing it back. Orange is in Castleage forever. This is FedEx now. Okay, and FedEx in troubles. He need to boom and go and move probably here to boom more. They lost all the map advantage they had. Now this castle is very important to deny. Why? Because it will it's going to be 13 range. And it is up. No! Oh, he killed. Oh my god, but he's going to lose it. Well, this castle was... The shorter life ever, man. Aye, aye, aye. Well, killing. Killing trade also. There's the Camel Arches here. Not fully abraded. And he deleted now. And this is the thing. They're trading now. But guys, Ganji here playing solid. Blue no army and green no army. They have no military here. They need to wall. And seriously, blue make bomber cannons. They are cutting here. The owner is... Oh my god. You need to focus, man. Or you're gonna lose this area. Ganji team 140 army. Valas team 68 army. They got no military at all. And ladies and gentlemen, check blue. Blue never reboom. This is his economy. An amazing economy. Zero farms. Zero everything. Blue got nothing. And I don't know, man. I mean, because Valas here is playing insane and now he has Citrona steel, but in the other side they are losing now. What the hell? Okay, bomber cannons now. Killing those. If you take the castles, then here, the Teutons without Siege Honors, they can't do too much against Siege Honors and Camel Arches. As you can see, Mr. FedEx is suffering a lot now with those Camel Arches. Remember that Burmese Skirms are not the best, but guys, guys in this area, they're gonna clean blue. Oh my god, blue is gonna lose the castles. He's gonna have nothing. He's doing archery ranges here. They have nothing. And those Keshik now, they can't do the job. Remember when I told you Tatars Cab Archers, right? Tatars Cab Archers. They will stop this. Tatars Cab Archers. Kessik are great, but if his opponent is just going full house, Tatars Cab Archers will have been lovely here. Very good. You know, very, very good. And right now, Green has no resources. Blue never got resources. He's walling here, trying to avoid that he's coming. At least he keep a lot of Archers alive. A lot of Geno East Cross Woman. But he... King would come with Onegas. The problem is that in this side, Valas and Teal, Thestosi are really dominating. Yellow has good population, but villages. Almost no army. Trebuchet are coming. More traps, amigo. More traps. And honestly, if they now delete this, could you kill all the economy? Yeah. They are killing the army. They want to kill all the front. Probably they, they're building. Ooh, better. But, but it's impossible. Seriously, in this one, uh, Valas is playing as he, what he is, the team captain. But guys, red amount of army, please. Check the amount of Karamid warriors by red. Yellow need to hold a little bit. He's going to be able to kill the bomber cannons, probably. The range is 13, but the castle is down because he's so many traps and bombers. And now yellow has zero army, basically. No army to defend. This is also Condottieri's by Teal. Orange, skirmishers. This is gonna make a castle. Here they are in a good position, yes. But in this area, they are much better position. FedEx doing a market here. And FedEx, how much village he has moved, guys? It's crazy that FedEx didn't move a single village left. Yes, yet, sorry. Okay, one village, my bad. Yeah, he has moved one village, guys. FedEx is trying to recover with one village. He, is, he has his base here. He's going to lose the castle. 
and Fede has moved one Valier. Disaster. Anyway, how do you stop this? Yellow has now Sea Turners. Yes, he has, but needs something else. On this area, they are still going. Blue also didn't move anything. Now going to move some. Oh, well, blue is defeated, guys. Yeah, blue didn't move anything. Try to check a blue dot on green base. I don't see it. I don't see it. So, can they hold here with the traps and Sea Turners? Siege Engineer, Yellow, Siege Engineer. This is gonna be difficult, very difficult, but that castle is helping against the, the owners. You need to kill the traps. If they kill the traps, maybe they can do something. Hordings, now you need to repair the castle. Wait, Seppi, you got a stone. Repair that castle. If he's gonna be able to hold the siege, they can kill here. I mean, Blue is really defeated. So they might have one player less. Obviously, Orange is pretty much the same situation, but... Ooh, he's killing the triple jet and killing everything, and now the castle is gonna survive. Yes, he will survive. He's killing all the siege. Kill the damn Onagers. The Kells are so strong. The Furo Celtic and men. But now he's walling everything, so you cannot even trade. Orange is still doing RT ranges because he has nothing else. Yeah, he has no food, no gold, no nothing. Well, he needs to hold. And in this position, he's gonna be able to Ganji and Repart to take the castles and then take green base completely because blue is in the hell right now. Okay, he moved villages, but he's dead. Completely dead. Same as orange. On the left, see Jonathan House, as you can see. He's gonna push or not. Camel arches. Pikes. Still pikes? Not even house? What the hell? Just toss it! My goodness! Anyway, if they keep going. Oof. The Cannabid Warriors crazy, now doing pikes as well, Khazars. He's gonna send an army there to help or not? They are trying to trade. The trade can be great. This is a lot of idle villages. 40 idle villages, man. And guys, I can't believe that he's doing a Step Lancers before Camel Arches, man. Now he's coming to deal with Longswords. Infantry here. Oh boy. Well, they could. Balas is still confident that he can hold Lonely. Now this is gonna be Lone Swords. 200 Swordsman. And uh, the Celts is coming here. The Celts is coming here. Range units, man. But here now, Berbers going to be inside. He's trying to call uh, Balas MVP, man. He's already top score in the game. Top score in the game. Doing an amazing job here with the Camel Archers. Trying to take all the trade. He's coming now with how many traps? Six trebuchets. Gonna try to kill the castle with the bomber cannons killing all. Camel Archers fully abraded. And this is what you call a Valas domination in this game. I don't know if you agree. But Valas has won this game. A hundred percent. Yes or no? A hundred percent. Seriously. I mean, seriously. He has won this game. Yeah. Because in the other side, they, they are still holding. And now Valas is still alone, killing it here. Well, he has two Onagers here, Teal. That helps against the scams. But here, with millions of Trebuchet, Bomber Cannons, taking this castle, now kill those Trebuchet. And going forward with the Elite Camel Archers, is just gonna be the spot in the Grand Final. Here they are holding now, Blue is there with the skirmishes. Well, it's something. Ganji team tried, but these Valas, holy moly. What you can see, and if the other team are watching, is that Valas team has weakness. For sure they have, you know? But you need to punish, because if you don't punish those weakness, then Valas is not gonna forgive you, man. He's gonna Brutal punish you. Domination. Exactly, brutal domination, guys. Brutal domination. Okay, Kemer is going all Halvard is, and now the lead step lances and skirmishes are holding here. Balas is, except three Onagers just alone here. Deal has 156 villages and just champions on the right side. And here with three Onagers, he's just cut in the trace, coming with the bomber cannons. The Teutons is trying to hold. He has good population, but now FedEx is the one who is bye-bye in the game. Even zero farmers, and now 
Yeah, pushing it back with the trebuchet. Camelage is inside. Okay, red is coming with with cannabis. All right. Yeah, they are coming here because on this area, red and purple are completely fine with their base. Okay, this is many halves. Yeah, but the halves will die against the camel archers. Yeah, and now with the bomber cannons killing those, you need to kill the onagers. This castle is crucial. You can lose it, but he might lose it. Bomber cannon is gonna kill that onager. Ooh, only one trebuchet alive. Better say two, two trebuchet. It's at the limit. Ganji team is at the limit. Really at the limit, but there's still even more army than Balastin. Mainly because of the Karambits. But the Karambits are powerful enough to dominate here. We will see now. It's too many. Oh, wow. Oh, the Onagas, the Onagas, the Onagas. Ooh, the Karambits just melt. Look, 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 look. Aye, aye, aye. The Karambits just get destroyed by one Onager. And almost impossible. But he's still spamming Mr. Ganji with all the damn Karambits. They're so small, man. Beautiful. Small. Who is this? An heirloom. Thank you, man. Yeah, they keep holding. And Valas with few villages. Man, bring more, man. Such a greedy boy. Valas population is not the greatest, by the way. Yeah, and he's trading not too much. Well, now they are pushing back here. Because when red need to help a little bit, then they push. That's the problem. They are really behind. You know, Purple has an army that is not gonna dominate. His Halvard is not fully upgraded because Halves from Khmer don't have the plus four armor. And well, Karambis are not the best units ever. The only one that get powerful units is students with the Onagers. But Waisepi has zero trade cut, guys. Why he's not trading? I have no clue. I see it's difficult, but I know it's difficult, but there's two market. Imagine if he got 5 through tre GG call. GG call, Valas team dominated, guys. They, they dominated. The first two games, clear domination. Then the third game, very nice by Ganji. This one, it was looking for a moment that they could take it. That they could take it. But let's be honest. Valas came back, bring back his team into this game. A hundred percent. Because there was a point where the Kel's pocket was struggling. Big time. Repar did 558 halves, but didn't work. If we check here, there was a moment. I mean, this is very hard to check, but... Well, it's too 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 big, too long. That teal drop it here like crazy. You can see his population. Mr. Planet and then teal was already super down. But at the end... It just takes a stossy population. Villiers, this is the problem. Why Seppi was attacking, doing a rush. But he was even less Villiers when he was attacking. Look, why Seppi was 65 Villiers. So when Sastosi made the extra disease again, then he went back to 120 Villiers and was 20 Villiers ahead to why Seppi. So it didn't work. Military, as you can see here, Valas, my goodness. Valas killed 611 units and lost 134. You know? Look at that. KD with Berbers. Valas domination. He killed 88 buildings. 88 buildings. A loss for. And obviously 69 largest army. With this KD and with this amount of army, 69, it's impossible to lose a game. Now, seriously. Insane performance by Valas, who is in the grand final. For the tournament, guys. If you're watching this on YouTube, only one thing you have to do. Thumb up, subscribe, and leave a commentary. Help a lot the video on YouTube, guys.